Okay, so this will be the, it's probably like L1.3, trying to find the edge. Which is lipid absorption non remnants. And so what we're going to start with is we're going to draw a circle, uh, my cell, or a fat particle. And it's already been both physically and chemically. The green would be the bile emulsified. That's the bile. And what it's going to be primarily full of is tag. So fill it up with tag. could put a DAG and a free fatty acid. And the result of um, lingual lipase and gastric lipase working in the stomach. And we're going to have co-lipase. And co-lipase will start it as pro-co-lipase. And it's going to show up um, right here. And co-lipase binds to the uh, fat droplet. But it's not actually going to hydrolyze any ester bonds. The actual hydrolysis of ester bonds is going to occur as a result of pancreatic lipase, which uses co-lipase as its friend, its helper. And so what they're going to do then is they're going to catalyze the hydrolysis of two fatty acids from the SN1 and the SN3 position of a tag to produce two fatty acids and a mag. So we'll redraw the bile surrounding our fat droplet. And this time we will have mag, mag, and two free fatty acids. Okay, and so. So draw a bunch of those. Okay, and so that's what we end up with is a fat droplet full of mag and free fatty acids. This fat droplet is a micelle and it's going to go interact with the microvilli. And so that's how we're going to depict it interacting. And so again, we'll call this a micelle. You guys can't read that, neither can I, because you can't even see it. Okay, so that's a micelle. In this micelle, again, we have mag and free fatty acids. Okay, and so what we learned in the writing portion is that for carbons less than 10, something's going to happen, and for more than 10, something different is going to happen. So we have the fatty acids with less than or equal to 10 carbons, and they're just going to go straight out of the enterocyte into the blood. And so in the blood, we bind albumin. Albumin binds them, and then they go to the liver. And we're done. Okay, fatty acids greater than or equal to 12 carbons. 
we're going to do something different with. So fatty acids greater than or equal to 12 carbons. We're going to take those and we're going to combine them with mag. And that's going to produce tag. And this is intracellular reformation of tag. And the enzyme that does this is acyl-CoA synthetase. Okay, and from there, we're going to draw an endoplasmic reticulum. I have no idea what that looks like. So we're going to make a box. And we're going to call that box the endoplasmic reticulum. Okay, and this tag is going to accumulate in the endoplasmic reticulum. So we have a tag, a whole bunch of tags, tag, 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 tag. You're it. And then after that, we're going to stick a protein on it. And that protein is B48. And we really want to remember that that protein is important because B48 is going to um, tell the muscle and adipose that this is a chylomicron and that they're supposed to do something with it and um, remove the DAG and free fatty acids from it. From there, we're going to go to the Golgi apparatus. of the same deal full of tag and then we'll stick our B48 on there and then in addition to the B48 we're going to put some carbohydrate around it but it's still predominantly tag like on a weight basis it's predominantly tag and so this is released from the Golgi apparatus, and this is now known as a chylo micron. Okay, that's an R, chylo micron. And the chylo micron is gonna go to the lymphatic, does not enter the blood, does not go to the liver directly, but it enters the lymphatic, where it's stored for a while, 30 minutes to three hours to peak, from the lymphatic, we go to the blood. From the blood, we go to the muscle and adipose. And there we have lipo protein lipase, which is going to remove DAG plus free fatty acid, which get absorbed into the muscle or adipose. And then what we have once all the tag has been removed is a chylo micron remnant. And the chylo micron remnant then is removed from the liver. Okay, we'll zoom out. more okay and so it's real important that you basically have a pretty good understanding of what happens from tag get into mag and free fatty acids the differences between the 10 carbons and the 12 carbons how 12 carbons or greater are used for tag intracellular reformation of tag what happens in the plasma reticulum the Golgi apparatus and then make sure you know what kind of micron exists we go to the lymphatic, not the blood. And then we go to the blood. From the blood, we go to the muscle and adipose, where lipoprotein lipase recognizes B48. Hydrolyzes one free fatty acid from a DAG, or from a TAG to make a DAG, and those get absorbed. They're gonna be reformed into TAG in the muscle and adipose, and then the chylomicron remnant is
is removed. 